in a secluded part of northwestern Australia, over a thousand kilometres from the nearest city, Perth, is a small hamlet town of about 207 people. How is such a small place, like the One Piece, real? It's called Coral Bay and it contains all the infrastructure a town needs. An outpost style little shopping centre containing all the little necessities like meat pies and ice cream, without which all residents would disintegrate in a painful death akin to a vampire. Even more important to Coral Bay's survival is the pub next door, which is twice the size of the shopping centre. Everything else? Bill's Bar. In most northern towns, red dirt cakes every single building in a pleasant, if daggy, tint. The dirt covering allowed me to appreciate the time I spent outside for five minutes until the sunstroke set in. Small coastal towns like Coral Bay, though, made me realise that where the desert meets the sea, the sand neutralises the tint. The only escape is averting your gaze to the calmly coloured blue ocean, saving your retinas from overexposure, <laughs> conveniently leading you to the best activities in town. Even with nothing but a pair of goggles and the propensity not to drown like a Queensland settler's kid in a creek, you can get amazingly close to even decent sized fish. Even in the shallows during tourist season when these monsters are about. Though maybe I'm just a bit too excited because I'm more used to swimming in stagnant pools next to lakes of names like Disappointment. It's a small out of the way place being an hour off the main highway but for its lack of size and girth comes its natural beauty the only reason coral bay really exists being more than sufficiently satisfying if you're traveling up north you should take the time to turn off and stop by the pub is dope the bay is a banging and the rocks are well they're rocking